Hey everyone, it's Justin Krieg from Historic Columbus with another episode of Tuesdays with Justin. Today I'm in Uptown Columbus standing on top of the Sonovas parking deck uh, over there close to the river. Um, and I'm also standing in front of one of downtown Columbus's most iconic structures, uh, the Eagle and Phoenix Water Tower that's located right here behind me. A lot of people incorrectly assume that the water tower here held water for uh, use by people in the downtown area for drinking water and water service, things like that. But in fact, the water tower actually held water uh, to be used as fire suppression for the Eagle and Phoenix mill operation. Back in the uh, late 1800s, before Columbus really had the ability to provide mass water service uh, for fire suppression needs, water towers like this were erected around industrial complexes like the Eagle and Phoenix to provide uh, fire protection. With all the lint and, uh, and textiles that were floating through the Eagle and Phoenix, fire was a great concern. And, um, and these water towers would help uh, provide a little bit of, uh, a, little bit of a, a hedge against the mill building catching on fire and burning to the ground. Some interesting facts about this water tower that I worked on for you all. Uh, it is roughly 120 feet tall. And I also did my best to estimate and calculate the, uh, the amount of water that it would hold. We've got some dimensional plans from the Library of Congress at Historic Columbus. And uh, I've estimated that it will uh, roughly hold around 5,000 cubic feet of water. If you convert that to gallons, that's in the neighborhood of about 37,000 gallons of water. And to give you a point of reference for what 37,000 gallons of water looks like, that is on average uh, two of your average swimming pools um, that could be uh, used to fill this water tower and hopefully put out fires at the Eagle and Phoenix when it was operating. So with that, we will see you all next Tuesday.